what are some of the things about the industry that you do enjoy? Um, the freedom, the freedom and the fact that the market is so, so big and the fact that the, the economical crisis never affected us or whatever. Yeah, whenever it, there is an economical crisis, the adult businesses are booming. The, the freedom, I guess. The freedom, yeah. That's, it's interesting you say that as a studio owner, because that is probably the most used word that I hear from the models as well, is the freedom that they love about this industry and this career for them. It gives them the freedom to travel, to build other businesses, to do other things. I guess in some way you can say we were doing what all the social media influencers are doing in the last five years. We were doing it for the last 20 years because we were actually selling not, not only the image of the naked girl, but we were selling her lifestyle, her story, her, her everything. Being in the industry for 20 years, you've probably seen a lot of girls' lives changed pretty quickly. Yes, a lot of them. Are, tell me a story. Are, any, are there any girls and their story that just stands out to you? Like, whoa, her life turned around. Well, I had a girl, she was like, no money, no nothing. And uh, yeah, she changed her life a lot, as in... Uh, she owns some apartments now. Uh, she has a young boyfriend, like 20, 12 years younger than her. Uh, yeah, she made a lot of money and she changed not, not only her life, her, her, her physics uh, changed. She, she's a different person. And um, at one point, like 16 years ago, um, I actually two of my models, they were sisters. Uh, one, uh, she was 18 and something, 18 and a half. And I actually met her on the side of the road. They were crying and they were, the, 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 but they had the bags, you know? And uh, I was with my partner from back then and I, we had to rent out an apartment for them because it was like, they, they, in two minutes we talked with them because it was late night and they were crying. And in two minutes, the, I was like, feeling sorry for them and we rented out her apartment for them and they did great they actually live in usa right now in miami wow are they still they, I, no 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 before they were they left romania they uh, opened a small business so uh, like i would say a uh, healthcare of gym and how to eat properly and stuff like that. And they do the same thing in Miami. I love hearing those stories where the industry has changed the model's lives and they are now able to, like you said, they started a business, they moved to Miami and they're running their own business there. I'm sure from all the funds they made camming that gave them the foundation. Exactly. That's incredible. I want to talk to you about your partnership with Live Jasmine. Uh, we went from uh, eight models to 115, 120 in like two or three years. Yeah. Why do you think we, that were using, uh, we were using the partnership with Jasmine as a marketing strategy and uh, we pushed a lot. I came up with the idea that I have a partner, which it's brand, it's so 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 big and i can use that brand and promote uh, promote my uh, my brand it actually worked <laughs> i love that yeah very cool so you saw a huge increase in business um yes somewhere in 2015 i think jasmine changed their strategy and they started pushing more and more the gla glamour attitude the the glamour model the the fact that the models they need to have like a glam glamour room and quality good camera good computer and uh and at that point the other sites were selling cheap and uh 
most of the girls in Bucharest, because they were making some money, they were drawn to, to that luxurious life and glamour, glamour look. And uh, uh, Jasmine was asking for like really professional photo sessions and the girls started um, to post on social media a lot, those photos. And you know how girls are when they see a nice photo with a nice girl with a nice hair and they, they want it also. And actually it was like a, I don't know, a butterfly effect. Wow, that's incredible. I'm curious from your perspective, which is really valuable because you've been in the industry for 21 years. Um, what is it that the members are truly after when they are coming to a website like Live Jasmine? Depends because we 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 have more categories of members, um, but most of them they're coming for. Uh, they are in search of something to fulfill the, their social needs, their the need of talking with someone. Actually, the explicit aspect of the of the business is there, and most of the members were when they are coming to the site. Most of them they're coming because they're sexually aroused or they're looking for a sexual experience. But uh, most of the members they stay on the site for the for the relationship they uh, they build with the models or i don't know maybe for the dream of um, having a better social life or uh, yeah i think that's it so it sounds like it's like most of the members go there because yeah, they, they want a sexual experience, but what you're saying, what keeps them is the connection that they develop with the models, the relationship. The need, the need of living by proxy, a, a normal social life with a normal girl, because maybe some of those members are like someone who hides behind a computer and doesn't have the courage to, go talk or ask for things from a, a girl on the street and they're living by proxy by their imagination they're building up a relationship which is a, a, a good thing i say yeah absolutely that's what mark zuckerberg is trying to sell now with metaverse <laughs> the same thing we're doing it for the last 21 years 23 actually i'm in the business for 21 but cams is 23 or 20 or almost if there wasn't the need of selling uh, adult photos on the internet back in 96 or 95 uh, would we wouldn't maybe we would have had to wait another few years to be able to pay online with a credit card a lot of big companies big companies uh, are using strategies marketing strategies that were first used in uh, adult affiliating marketing and stuff like that because it works exactly fascinating yeah i'm pretty sure that uh, adult business will will continue to bring in new ideas and new good things that probably most of us will use and most of us will we won't know that they come from the adult industry do you think the adult industry itself will grow to be more accepted and less taboo do you see that that's happening or no really the last two years with only fans being on the lips of everyone with from beyonce to i don't know cardi b and really yeah it's obvious it's happening already we're sexual animals okay uh it's nothing to change we just have the technology to do it and yes it's gonna change a lot. I can I can actually say that in no more than 10 years, it's going to be so normal that it's going to be socially accepted everywhere. I can guarantee you that 99% of the girls owning a good phone and a good camera, they send they sent a nude to their boyfriend. Well, that's content selling. <laughs> Maybe they didn't do it for money, they did it for attention or whatever, but it's the same principle absolutely you're right the exchange is it may not be money but it like you said they're they're trying to get either connection or validation 
Yeah. His love. So the women that send the pictures for money are business women. We actually, a few years at an event in, I think in, it was in Lisbon. Um, I think Alexandra Georgia from, uh, uh, was the one saying that uh, cam girls are business women. And she had a good, like, uh, 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 good support for it because she said uh, they're managing their content uh, their marketing uh, strategies and everything that and that's a business it is a business absolutely yeah. what do you look for in the models that you bring on to your studio everyone has a computer now everyone has a phone and i'm not able to sell the professional model anymore because they're not looking for that okay so if she's not curious about the member and she's if she's just like a fake model and she's there just to take her clothes off, she's not going to perform, okay? A man will not relate to any girls as in a relationship if he didn't pass the sexual step. Right. I know members that they were like in in the relationship for the sexual part. And now they're like three years in a normal relationship and they're talking every day. And, and maybe the last time they had something sexual was like a long time ago. The sexual desire is always there. We're talking about men, come on. But um, they're not staying for that they're not staying for the sexual desire the members actually need want friends that they can text every time they want or they they are they are able to 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 see while they're streaming and to be part of their life somehow that's we have that's why we have all those uh, features on live jasmine now with stories and messaging and video call and everything it truly is connection, um, at, I think, at the heart, at the center. For the last 20 years, everyone inventing apps and whatever, they did it. The idea started from the fact that that app needed to connect us, to make us, to, to bring us closer. And of course, all they all become big businesses and it was all about the money in the end, but the idea started from the fact that we needed to connect with each other. If you could describe the industry in one word, what would it be? Churchill, Winston Churchill. He didn't care about what people thought. He didn't care about the fact that maybe he wasn't doing the right thing for at that moment, but he knew he's doing the right thing for the future. I don't care because I know for a fact that in 30 years, nobody's going to judge me. It's going to be, it's going to be so mainstream. It's impossible not to be. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your, for your time. I really appreciate uh, this interview. It's been really insightful. And like I said, I really love to talk to people who have been in the industry for as long as you have, because there's just, um, there's a different perspective that comes with it. That's great. Yeah, it is different. It is different, <laughs> yes. <laughs>